Hey, it's Josephine from The Point Shop, and I'm in Orange County in our beautiful showroom in Southern California. And today I'm going to be talking about the Grishko Allure, which is one of the newest models that they came out with. I've been fitting with this shoe for about a year now, and I really love this shoe, and I'll be talking about the different parts of the shoe. Now, Grishko Allure is very similar to the 2007. The 2007 model has been one of the most popular shoes on the market, and there's different variations of the shoe that came out, like the Nova and the Miracle and the Allure are all part of the same collection of shoes. So the shape you will notice is very similar to the 2007, but there are different improvements that they have made on this particular shoe. The first thing I want to mention about the Allure is that it does have a synthetic synthetic material right in the arch. So it does have a slightly reinforced shank that is made out of a synthetic material. So it makes the point shoes last a bit longer than normal. If you can take a look at the shoe, I didn't make any modifications to the shoe, so it does pre-arch pretty sharply right at the three-quarter mark. Now, most Grishko point shoes are three-quarter shank, which means that it is softer from the three-quarter shank back. So if you look at the shoe, it's pretty soft. But this shoe in particular does come pretty sharply bent. It almost looks like a seven instead of the normal Grishko shoe that arches very softly to the very end of the shank. So because of this sharp bend, it actually makes the point shoes last a little bit longer because it gives your heel a place to sit on top of in the shank. So it is distributing your weight a little bit more evenly throughout your foot instead of having your entire foot slide onto the bottom of your shoe. So it actually helps your shoe a little bit more if it is bent a little bit at the end. So I really like that shoe and it does help you get over on your point shoes. Now the platform is still pretty small, just like the 2007. If you're wobbling in a 2007 or an Entrada or any other shoe that has a smaller platform, this is probably not going to be the best option for you because it has that same small platform. But if you have great balance and if you feel comfortable in a smaller platform, then this could be pretty great for you. Now the Vamp is similar to the 2007. One of the things that I did notice with this collection is that it starts out with a really short Vamp when the sizes are smaller and it increasingly gets longer and longer as the size gets longer. So by the time you have a pretty big shoe, like a size seven or eight, you have a pretty long Vamp. So if you don't like longer Vamps and if you have a bigger size, that's probably not going to be the best for you. Uh, it is easier to get on top of your point Shoes, I found then the 2007 or the uh, the Novas or any other Grishkos that I've seen on the market because it is pre-arched and I think that it is a little bit easier for you to stay up on point if you had trouble pushing over all the way onto your point. On a lot of Grishko point shoes I noticed that the wings collapse a little bit on the side and the reason for that is that it's easier for you to roll through. But the downside to that is that your knuckles can sit on top of the wings if it breaks too low. This one, however, comes up a little bit more on the sides. There's a little bit more paste on the sides so that um, it doesn't do that, and I really like that. I think it holds up the foot a little bit nicer and the line is just overall cleaner and prettier, so I really like that about this shoe. And also, if you just take a look at the shoe, it's a little bit more luxurious than the other shoes that you've had because um, the inside of the shoe is lined with a felt material that is a little bit more comfortable and it is slightly padded with a felt material right at the platform so it gives you a little bit more cushion without having that thicker gel material that certain point shoes have that pushes back at you. Uh, Grishko still has the cotton drawstring for this shoe but again if you're fitted correctly and properly you shouldn't have to pull the drawstrings too much so the cotton drawstring does doesn't bother me too much in this shoe. Grishko in general cuts their fabric a little bit higher than most other companies. Um, so I personally like the shoe cut a little bit lower in general, but this shoe is cut higher just like every other Grishko point shoes. And if you have trouble with your shoes slipping off your heel, or if you like to have a nice secure shoe that comes up pretty high on your foot, then the Grishko models generally do that. 
Now, if you want to have a lower heel, you can always custom the shoe, but it's better to just cut it down or sew it down if you feel like the fabric comes up a little bit too high. Now, a lot of the professionals will either sew it down or Frankenstein their point shoes to have a lower side and a lower heel so that their feet can be shown off on stage. But a lot of dancers at that level know how to keep their shoe on their feet. So it's, it's okay for them to have a lower heel. Overall, this is a beautiful shoe. I thought this was really fun for me to work with. I actually like this shoe a lot better than the other Grishko models that we've carried in the past. So if you're having trouble getting all the way over onto your platform, this might be the shoe for you. It might help you get all the way over onto your point shoes. But again, you should get fitted professionally for these shoes specifically if you want to try them before you wear them. Overall, this is a very beautiful shoe. It's very streamlined. I think it looks great on certain people. I've had a lot of success with dancers that have trouble getting over onto their platforms um, with this shoe. So if you have trouble pushing over onto your point shoes, a pre-arch shoe that has a reinforced shank might help you out. So if you would like to make an appointment, you can visit our website at thepointshop.com. And if you'd like to check our tour dates, you can check that online as well.